three two one let's go what is going on people the order of the future with another movie from my 100 movie bucket list challenge series today is going to be the ninth movie in this bucket list and that movie is going to be the deer hunter now this is a movie i really had no idea what it was about in my mind i'd made up something in my head about literal deer hunting like i was picturing a forest people hunting deer i don't know <laughs> That's what I thought it was about, but um, upon coming to watch this movie, I have found that it is a 1978 movie dealing with war, and it's starring Robert De Niro and Christopher Walken. I'm not sure who else, but just hearing those names was surprising to me. So it has completely thrown me for a loop, it has actually grown my intrigue, so now I'm kind of like, hmm. I wonder, I wonder what this is going to be like, or what this is going to be about, because this isn't a movie that I would probably go out of my way to watch so it's out of my sphere of interest you could maybe say but uh yeah we're gonna jump into this my only gripe is that it's three hours oh my goodness oh my gosh the thing is i don't mind a three hour movie from time to time but it's like if i don't like it then it's like three hours long it's like oh but oh, okay i gotta stay positive i gotta stay positive no skits today um yeah i don't know i just want to start the movie okay no skits if you like skits you want to skit here's something for you here's a uh, uh, here's a puppy <laughs> all right let's get this started the deer hunter three hours buckle in he said to himself wow Robert De Niro straight out the gate right in your face so Robert De Niro's the star then Gotcha. The deer hunter. Simple. In the first 10 seconds. Meryl Streep is also in this. John Savage. Music by Stanley Myers. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, Stanley. God. Ah, oh, I could never. What a job, man. That is quite a job. I'm not sure what they're doing, but man that's a rough 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 job like working in the middle of a volcano industry bro you think about the machines humans are have been able to make industrious old man butt oh what's going on they seem like they're saying goodbye to each other, like they're not going to see each other in a minute. Is it like two weeks on, two weeks off, or four months on, four months off? Unless maybe they could be going to war right now, because I yeah, this might be about war. They don't seem like they're going to war. They seem mighty happy. They are going hunting. Are they? Christopher Walken, man. He's always been a character, huh? Way to stand out. Just that way he talks. The way he carries himself. What? Oh! <laughs> is she pregnant? Or is she running away? Pass him on the inside. Oh, you'd never do it. That is Robert De Niro. He looks like unrecognizable. He could play a very good variety of characters. You know, if you dress him properly. Hey, I got a hundred bucks. So she must have a cross of fifty in the next hand. And the win by what? Twenty. I'm gonna make it twenty. He says he's gonna make it. Christopher Walken. He's just so. uh charming i guess just this whole character and the way he comes off is super charming okay there's a wedding here in whatever town and the nuns are carrying the cake i'm 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 still very confused wondering what the heck is this all leading to i so far like the how these shots seem very natural the guys leaving work hanging out at the bar those women in their dresses kind of <laughs> bumbling around very natural looking shots framed in a way where you can just get a lot of people in there but it doesn't look cluttery or messy 
it still looks like a photo, like I feel like good shots should be. There she is. Hey. Woo. Damn, they got me with that shot. Did not realize it was a mirror. Oh wow, she looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, what? Oh my goodness. What's happening? Don't you do Oh! Oh, I would say beat this guy up because he's drunk and you could probably slap him up, but you know. I don't feel like she's not putting off the I want to kick my dad's ass energy. So I don't think she would. Let's go with the 70s music. Uh, I didn't even realize what song it was, but uh, that instrumental is just fire. This is the kind of music uh, the boys used to listen to when we went to play pool. That's nice. It's nice when you're with your boys and they're able to take the drink away from you. That's, I respect that, you know? He took this drink away from his boy. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that guy leaving? What is happening? I'll get it. Don't worry, I'll get it. I'm a bit slow, but I'll put two and two together. Huh. Okay, that's the guy getting married. That's good. So, so he's getting married tonight. He's getting married. Gotcha. That was kind of a celebration, hmm. or a normal thing they do every week. For Christ's sake, Mike Stevens getting married in a couple hours. I don't know what the hell we're even doing. We're talking about hunting the last time before the army. The whole thing is crazy. Gotcha. I'll tell you one thing. One shot. Look at all that KFC in the back. It's pussy. I don't... You have to think about one shot. One shot is what it's all about. Deer has to be taken with one shot. I try to tell people that. They don't listen. Huh. This is, uh... I like a guy with quick moves and speed. I ain't gonna hunt with no assholes. Well, who's an asshole? Who's an asshole? Interesting. But you're a fucking nut. Not Interesting. Like you're a maniac. I just don't like no surprises. I mean, understandable. Understandable. I'm understanding Mike a little bit. So hold up. A marriage, a hunting trip, and then they're going to Vietnam. That's what I'm I'm gathering here. What is this? Is this a foreshadowing? They're showing him in a cracked mirror. <laughs> oh, that's oh, they're together. All right. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Oh no, I forgot that what she's going through. I was just wondering if I could use this place to stay. Yeah, yeah. Use it. Use it. Dang, this is the ceremony? It is so extravagant. I was like, is this mass or? <laughs> but it's, woo. What? Why is she tripping? Why is she tripping? Why did they look at each other? I haven't seen that classic situation of the ending of a wedding. Where people are standing downstairs and throwing stuff at people. I haven't seen that visual in so long. It's kind of nostalgic. Like, do people do this anymore? Yay, successful wedding. I don't know. The groom and the bride, they looked a bit uncomfortable. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Yeah, even this. The classic driving away in a decorated vehicle. Do they still do that too? I don't know. I like how the bride and the groom leave. And everyone else just parties. <laughs> but these guys, okay, they're there. 
But these guys are leaving now to go to Vietnam. Usually at the weddings I go to, it's like, uh, you know, what's that, line dancing? Line dancing has been the thing for as long as I know at weddings. This is on a different level. I don't even know what this kind of dance is called, but it looks very fun. It's like line dancing, but like just a little, a little more oomph. Who's this? Wait, 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 wait. He's looking at someone. He's, I'm looking at that girl down there. And he's also looking at Meryl Streep. He's looking at her. And who's, who's this? Is Mike just, does Mike get around or something? Okay, they look happy. They look happy. That's good. That's good. These people, they know how to party. They're just, they're going off. Dance floor has not been silent all night. It's reminding me of like some sort of medieval party. Which I'm down for. I would love to dance and skip around in a circle. Michael, Nick, and Steven are going to Vietnam. Get over there, Mike. Get over there, buddy. Come on. Come on. I see how she dusted him off. She dusted him off. She got a touch. She touched his booty. What's going on between them two? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Okay, so... Christopher Walken's character is Nick, I think? Okay, Nick is smashed right now. What are they, swapping girls? Okay, everyone's just having a good time. Maybe I'm just thinking too much into this. Everyone seems to just be having a good old time. <laughs> See, I like how that felt really natural. But what is going on? And there's Nick and the other girl. What's going on? What is happening? Man, okay, I think I know what's happening. It's pretty clear right now. But why are they doing this so obviously at this wedding? I guess, you know, he feels like I'm going to war. This is my last chance. Everybody is feeling very YOLO right now, which means you only live once, so you take a chance. Maybe that's the vibe everyone's feeling right now because of this war. Damn, people could just do that, eh? Back in the day, people would just do that. They're like, hey, may I cut in? May I cut in for a dance? <laughs> Today you get your freaking lights knocked out of you. Oh, he's touching a booty! He's touching a booty! <laughs> Oh, man. The 70s, man. The 70s. Oh, what do you mean? It's only a wedding. It's only a wedding. Everyone's down to get down at a wedding, eh? <laughs> oh, no! No way! I did not expect that. I was thinking in my head, why is she letting it happen? But, dude! Holy crap! What a, what a turn, what a left turn. Hold up. Everyone's just like, acting like it's normal. That's wild, bro. That is wild. That is crazy. Wow. I'm shocked at how everyone was as acting as normal because look, I'm not that out of touch. I feel like even in the 70s, hitting women was looked down upon, right? I can't be that out of touch. We're going airborne. So I hope they send us where the bullets are flying. That's right. Fighting's the worst, huh? No. Oh. Right. Seems like this guy's already been to war against these guys who are about to go and they're sloshed. Okay, yeah. They're asking what it's like. 
Dude seems like super traumatized. Mike, let it go, man. Mike, Mike. <laughs> Mike, settle down, Mo. Settle down. Wow. They're dancing to the Tetris song. I have to say, yo, this is one of the most ratchet weddings I've ever witnessed in my life. Huh? Really? Wow. Wow. Oh gosh. Big promise. Big promise. If you don't spill a drop, it's good luck for the rest of your life. How much liquid is in there? Uh oh, she spilled, boss. She spilled and nobody noticed. I don't know. If it was real life, I'd say, ah, oh, whatever. Who cares? No big deal. But this is a movie, so that's gonna be bad luck. I think, I think that's not good. I love how authentic it is, the old people over there sleeping in the corner. I never really did it with Angela and Nikki. It's my last one true secret. That's not the next step. That's nothing. Just forget about it. What? Is he a virgin? Oh my goodness gracious, what a mess. <laughs> what a messy night, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're chasing this dude. He's completely nude at this point in time. He's sitting on the ground. He's lying on the ground. I must be out of my fucking mind. Yeah! Yeah, probably. A little. Uh, they gotta go, they gotta go to Vietnam. It's hitting, finally, it's hitting. You gotta, you gotta, just don't leave me, you gotta promise me that, Mike. Don't leave me? You got it, Okay, okay, okay. Why do I feel like some heavy stuff is setting up? Isn't that just ask him not to leave him there? <laughs> It sounds like they're still drunk off last night. So Steve, the guy who got married, he's not with them. Gotcha. I'm assuming they're going on their deer hunting trip right now. I mean, <laughs> interesting. They have to come back for you. They're going to make him run, eh? Run, boy. Run. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled his leg out. <laughs> These are some interesting scenes that they're adding in. I mean, I feel like the director is just like really taking his time to, um, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe to help us, help us realize the relationship between all these people. How real it is and genuine and authentic. Yeah, because that's how a lot of these moments have felt so far. Just quite, uh, authentic. Yeah, every, a, a lot of these scenes have had a very in real life feeling to them. There's nothing like too showy or like overtly, I don't know, Hollywood. Yeah, I just realized. So that's Mike's car. All right. The juxtaposition of these guys in their tuxedos slash hunting gear with the beautiful nature behind them and their raggedy car. Hey Mike, let me borrow your spares, huh? Your extra pair? This guy's walking around with a gun like that. I don't trust this guy. No? No boots, no more. No more. That's it. You're a fucking bastard, you know that? I don't trust anybody here with a gun. This ain't something. From now on, you're on your own. Oh my gosh. Mike is an interesting character, man. He's got some. He's got some issues. Don't point the gun around like that. Just shut up. Take, take Michael's goddamn boots and shut up. Hey, Stodge. He said no. 
Oh, he's sticking to his guns. He's not giving him the boots. All right. Great way to start the trip. <laughs> even, uh, even Nick's like, what's up, man? Oh, what? He's giving him his own boots? Hey, man. Mike said he didn't want to come here with any of these guys. Woo! Intimidation shot. There wasn't even a deer out there. Yo, it's crazy how we transitioned from those everyday small city shots to these wild nature shots like extra what's the word just extra serene the serene nature like look at this from the gritty city that we were just in and neighborhoods completely flipped the script feels like a completely different movie uh, at this point in a bit in a way they've completely transitioned out of their suits and shots like this? Did he get it? Yeah, it seems like he got it. I wonder how they got these shots for this movie. Did they actually go deer hunting and uh, take out some deers? Damn! Back in the city. We're back in the dirty, smoky, gritty city. I did not expect to be back here so soon. I thought I was beginning to think that a lot of the movie would take place in the wilderness. These people are so messy. I mean, go off, guys. Go off. But, man, it's just a little too messy. A little too messy. Now I'm soaked in beer and everything. A lot of great shots during this part. A lot of great shots. It seems like they're being affected by this man's ability to play good music. It's kind of switched them off from their wild I don't care way that they were they were they were in into a very focused I don't know. It's like bringing them back down to earth or something. Yo. What a versatile movie this is are they here already are they in vietnam already oh wow what a switch up no way bro you know i wanted to make a joke that this guy was sleeping i guess he is pretending to sleep Yo, did they just blow up their own people? Nah, bro. He's gonna save this guy. He didn't save her in time. He didn't save her in time, though. They're really out here right now. They are really out here. What, they hadn't seen Mike in so long? They got captured. They got captured? Damn. Oh, gosh. What a place to be in. What a place to be in, man. Okay, he does remember them. Come on, Steve. Keep your head together. Yeah, I'm one to talk. You always, you know, you, you see stuff like this and you wonder, how would I handle a situation like this? And I would like to think the best of myself. I really would, you know? So they're essentially playing a game with their prisoners' lives right now. It's like Russian roulette, I guess. Damn, every time he hears that click, he just wretches. Mike is being a good dude right now. Mike is uh Mike is not being like a hard ass like I thought he I thought he was. What a devious game, man. Wow, and they're betting on it. People can be so dark needlessly. Needlessly. Oh wow, they showed it. Just needlessly cruel. Like what's the point of this? There's so many other ways to enjoy life. You know? Like so many. Yo, no wonder that dude at the bar at the wedding was so 
you know, so serious. And then they just dump them out into the water. Oh, no. Versus each other. Bro. They're actually sitting here facing each other doing it. This is so stupid. This is so dumb. <laughs> he fought back. He fought back. Man, okay, Mike's got some balls. I guess Mike is the type of dude who's made for this kind of stuff, huh? Did he hit himself? Is he dead? He looked like he did it off. I'm confused because he didn't kill himself. He didn't shoot himself in the head. He cheated. He cheated a little bit. Are they okay with that? Bro. Bro keeps attacking him. Even though he's surrounded. Oh my gosh. What are they? Where are they? Are they drowning him? They put him in. Is that? Yo, man. It's a pit filled with rats? Ah, uh, I don't fully understand the rules of this game, but it seems like they survived. Forget him. He ain't gonna make it. Stevie's not gonna make it. Yeah, you know he never trusted anybody except for Nick. You are. You have to be ready for this. Yeah, you know? Are you serious? Come on, bro. You have to be ready for this. Oh, he is facing. They are facing each other. Get him out, bro. Okay, okay. How's this going to go down? He's like, can I forget about this dude? You got lucky. But yo, apparently you can cheat and just shoot the side of your head. So just cheat. Three, three. Ah, this is his plan. Gotcha. Okay, he gets the gun. I'm sure he wants that. I'm sure he wants to get the gun. He actually went for it. Bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Serious, bro? How many slaps can you take before you just like... Oh. What a character this is. I'm so like kind of confused and like... Mike is a weird character. Bro, if he's quick enough, he could totally shoot this guy in his face, couldn't he? Just take that gun, pow! Like, how many slaps can you take? Ha 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 ha! Poof! That's what I'm talking about! Jeez! Thank you! I guess he had to play the game a couple of times because... Just to make sure that there was a bullet in the chamber when he wanted to pull it on the other guys. But that's risky as hell, right? I guess it's like guaranteed. If we miss these first two shots, guaranteed we're getting out of here. I don't know. That was all super risky. Are they really leaving him? They're actually taking him. So why did he tell him to forget about him? Damn, man. They did a lot of uh, actual shots here. Like, like, I feel like it was the real actors who pulled themselves off the tree and onto that bridge and... Now, like, there are some crazy shots in this film. Like, this film strikes me as it was, like, probably so expensive. They just let Stevie go. And Mike fell as well. Ah, uh, that sucks. Uh.
Why didn't his wife drink the wine without spilling it? Damn, bro. Mike carried him all the way back. Is he dead? Or are they gonna go take care of him? Now he never knows when he's gonna see him again, if he gets to see him again. Man, they're carrying away the bodies in all of those cases. Is that what I'm seeing right there? That's all you got. That's all you have. Luckily, you know what? Luckily, Mike and her didn't cheat with each other before they left. That would have made things a lot crazier emotionally for these guys. What a weird way to live. You know, you're at war one second, you're here another second, you're there another second, you're out. Linda. Linda, just No, no, I'm good. Okay. Is there a child in there? There is a child in there. Oh my gosh. Ah. <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, the girl's desperate. No, oh, man. There. Ah, uh, this world. This planet. This planet sometimes. I can't hate on dude for trying. You know, he's got to try to relax. He's got to try to blow some steam off. But I can totally understand why he wouldn't be able to do that kind of stuff. Like, because his mind must be so frazzled right now. Like, I would just be wanting to get the hell out of here. No. Here I am thinking that this was some sort of brothel. But it's this? These men are playing this game for fun? People are so weird. Oh, look who's here. Of course. Of course he's here. <laughs> he's going crazy. He's going crazy. This man is trying to recruit Nick to be his gun shooting self guy. I can make you very rich. <laughs> Come join me. Like he's trying to be a boxing manager or something. What is this? Wow, I can't believe they're back home already. See, things are happening so quickly. Just like Michael said at the beginning. Everything is happening so fast. My guy went, I don't know. I can't, it's like he has more hair and less hair at the same time. I don't, how does that happen? What happened? It looks like he skipped the party to go be by himself. This is an experience I am glad that I've never experienced and I hope I will never experience. Like going away to fight a war, experiencing all of that and then coming back home must change a person so drastically. Like, and it's not a change you kind of willingly go through. It's a change you're thrown into. And hopefully you have some sort of mental stability to um, kind of steer yourself in a in the most healthy direction you can. But to be flung into a situation that is definitely going to change the person you are. Nah. And uh, it's only Mike. So I'm wondering what happened to the other two. Maybe, I don't know, maybe Steve did die there when he broke his leg. This man has a picture of... I know she's gorgeous. I said it as soon as I saw her. She's absolutely gorgeous, but damn. Oh my gosh, people are still leaving this guy behind. <laughs> I wonder how long they were gone. I'm not sure how long the war was. Maybe they got sent back earlier or what. Oh, I thought he was going to go in. He actually changed his mind. What, he's going in the back? Oh. Oh, she's staying at their place. So this is his old place. She's staying at their place and they both love her. Ha! Oh my god. He made sure to wear his uniform, eh? Oh, hello. Starting off, starting off quick. I was hoping somehow, Michael, maybe you had Nick with you. Yeah, where is he? Anything on Nick? She hasn't heard anything on Nick. Okay, they don't know what, what's going on with Nick. He's A-W-O-L, that's all we know. A-W-O-L. A-W-O-L. He's absent without leave. 
So he's just not there, but he hasn't even been sent home by them. He's just not there. This man went on a shooting myself in the head tour like a boxer. He's probably a champion in Vietnam now. Loved him. Why are you acting like he's dead? Why are you acting like Nick is dead already? I love that shot of that building. It's very, it's another nice little mix and mash of uh, culture and environment. Because that building doesn't look like it belongs there, right? Wasn't that the singer at the wedding? He works at the grocery store? No wonder he was mediocre. I was like, why did they hire this singer? He's not great. And now I know why. Oh, go in, Helen. Go in. Okay, so lip kissing is a thing. Everyone's just into it. Oh, he's back to work in the factory. Oh, Lord. Stuck between a rock and a hard place, man. You think... You know, it would be nice if after what military people went through, like if they went through really, really, really something hard and difficult, man, they should really be rewarded when they come back home. They go through all that stuff and then they have to come back and work in a factory? To Nick and Steve. To Nick and Steve, for real. God, I hope Nick is alive. I hope they're still alive somehow. But I don't know, man. I feel like Steve probably bled out or something on the way back when he was being carried. I didn't know he's back. Is he back? You, you, where is he? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Angela wouldn't tell us. So Steve is back, but nobody knows where he is? That's Steve's wife? Okay, put the gun down, kid, all right? Angela's broken. Angela looks broken. What, did she go to war as well? Did she, the state of Steve make her this way? Like, is he that messed up? Where is he, Angela? Where is he? I'm right here, Michael. He comes out of the he comes out of the corner. Like, where is he? She's about to say it. She's almost there. She's cracking. What? She can't talk anymore. What broke her like this? She just listened to a, a, a broken radio? Look, yo, what happened to her? If I'm ever getting married and I do that wine thing, we're practicing that before the wedding. We have to make sure we don't spill even a single drop of wine. Why can't we just comfort each other? Why is he, uh... No, I can't, not here. I gotta get out of here. Why does he want to leave all of a sudden? I don't know. Sorry, I He's super emotional. I feel a lot of distance. And I getcha, okay. Dissonance is a fantastic word to use for how he's feeling. But damn, he, I mean, shoot. That would have been a nice night. He would have had a nice night just now, I'm sure. You know, even if it's just cuddles. Cuddles are nice. Comfort each other. That would have been nice. Feels kind of weird. Hold up! Going to a motel. Oh, so they, uh... Michael? So they did get freaky. He's he passed out, and they got me with the mirror trick shot again. Good for you. Good for you, director. I'm not sure if they... No, they must not have. He's still, like, fully clothed and everything. There you go. Get your comfort on, girl. Get your comfort on. See this? So random. This guy just gets caught under the bowling pin thing. Like, what? What does this have to do with anything? I mean, we're, are we still hammering in the, the real life, you know, feeling of the movie? You know, this is very true to life moment right here. You know, very, everyone is good friends. Hey, we're back deer hunting again. I love this. This, this scenery is my favorite scenery in this movie. Maybe because we didn't see enough of it. I also love the Vietnam setting, but it's just because it was overlaid with war, that it was nasty. But Vietnam is like beautiful to look at. The country itself. I also really enjoy the music that they play during this part. I don't know why it gives me a, again, I'm a comedy guy. It gives me a, and I'm, I, I'm a guy who's watched 
enough British media. It reminds me of like, um, maybe like a uh, Monty Python or something. It reminds me of a Monty Python scene. Oh my god, this guy needs to shut up, right? That's why he can't go hunting with anybody but Nick. Because these guys are reckless. This is how deer hunting goes? It's this... It's this uh, unorganized? I'm not a hunter. But I figured when you go hunting, you're going... You're being very quiet. You're not running around chasing animals. I thought it was more like fishing. You know, you stay in one spot, scoping out animals, seeing what walks by. I guess tr tracking them as well, right? He didn't kill it. He pulled up. I wonder why. Okay. Okay. okay to what? Oh, he's listening to his echo. But again, okay to what? Okay to life? Is my man just... I don't know, on the side of life right now? No more killing? You said I want to. <laughs> Jeez. Say it. Of course. Say it. Yo, I don't trust yeah, this guy. You're so full of shit. You're going... Take that shit. Okay. Take that shit away from him, guy. Take it easy, Mike. What the hell was that for? Take it easy, Mike. He just had a gun pointed at you. Jeez. You wanna play games? All right, I'll play your fucking games. Uh-oh. Yeah, we know what game he's on. So he's going to play. Yeah, I think we know what game he wants to play. How do you feel now? Huh? Ooh, yeah. Huh? Having a gun pointed at you like it's hey, nothing. Like it's nothing? Chee! He actually pulled the trigger. <laughs> you guys don't know. You guys don't know. You normal, normal people. You guys don't know, man. Oh, that must be so tough to come back and everyone's just the same. Everyone's just... At the absolute same as they were, but then you are just so changed. This guy fell asleep again before they could get jiggy with it. You know, I don't, I don't feel uh, any ways about these two getting together because where is Nick? It's all good. These two are consenting adults. Nick is nowhere to be seen. It's gonna be crazy if he comes back, though. There you go, Linda. Get some while he's sleeping. There you go. Wake him up. Okay. All right, Linda's gonna get hers tonight. See, a guy like Steve who comes back from war should be peppered with privileges. Like, man should should get to go eat at restaurants for free. He should get at least, like, I don't know, I don't know, a minimum of, like, 35000 to 50000 a month. Give it to him. That's, like, you know, he went to war for the country. He lost his legs. Maybe one, maybe two. I'm not sure yet. They should be just decorated and given so much privilege like you destroy these people's lives by having them go to war and then they come back to to what it's kind of nuts he should never have to pay for anything moderate again he shouldn't have to pay for food in your country he shouldn't have to pay for a place to live in your country and he should be given i don't know yeah just financial compensation No, Stevie seems out of it. Is he on drugs? Or is this just this, his way? His mind is probably like a bit shattered. It's good. It's good uh, that they got to see each other again. Okay, he made it clear. I don't want to go home. So I like that he made that clear. Besides your legs. Just be, op just be open about it. Comes every month from Saigon. I don't understand. Oh! That money comes every month from Saigon. Is that Steve? Winning. <laughs> no, sorry, is that Nick? Yeah, Nick. He's just. Winning money. Nick is out there making money. This is going to get quite a terrible shit. I should, Mike. You promised me. Come on, I don't fit. I don't fit. So he's insecure about going home. He's insecure about it. <laughs> he accepted it so easily. Hey, I'm sorry, man. You do what your heart tells you. Like, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do anyway? <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you, darling. 
Yo, did he go back to find Nick? Where's Nick? Yo, where's Nick? He's like some sort of kingpin. So this was filmed in 78, but it takes place in like 1968, probably crossing into 70s. Just wanted to make sure. Or well, I just wanted to, you know, be certain. So it's probably in the 70s right now, maybe? I'm not sure when the Vietnam, Vietnam War took place. There's Nick's manager. Oh my gosh. I'm tell I told you. Nick has been out here running circuits on whatever this game is called. He's just been out here running people at shoot myself in the head ball. You know what I just realized? The first guy we saw when we got to Vietnam who was pretending to be dead and then fried that guy with the, the flamethrower. Was that Robert De Niro? See, he looks so different sometimes. I think that was Robert De Niro who was the first guy here. So it is a secret freaking. I was gonna say boxing, but this is not boxing. It must be, they must make so much money doing this to even consider doing it. One bullet? What are you guys, a bunch of wusses? Come on now, son. One bullet? Come on, are we even playing? Are we even playing whatever this game is called? All these people have to be super rich, right? Like this is a this is a game that only the super rich would play because they're just so bored, and obviously, uh, 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 the people who are playing it are the desperate people. Ooh, well, he has nothing to worry about anymore. He doesn't have to worry about bills. Oh, here he comes, the champion. Tell me it's Mike. He legit. Tell me it's Mike. It's Mike. It's Mike. Mike who? Michael. Hey, he remembers. Michael, I don't know. Does he remember? He's got to remember. Uh, don't you recognize me? Huh? Don't slap him like that. That's got to be triggering too. You're my friend. What are you doing? Did he just spin his face? Yeah. Nick, I came all the way here for you. Don't make me punch you in the face. So he's going to face off against him. Gotcha. Gotcha. It all comes back around. I mean, especially now since you don't have to do it. He did it. Man is fearless at this point in time. He has no fear. Look at him. He's getting a rush. He's getting thrill from this. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Uh-oh, looks like Nick's breaking. It looks like Nick is breaking. Yeah, Nick's going home. Nick's Nick's going home. One shot. One shot. One shot. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Ah. Damn, Nicky. Damn. It was it was when he started to laugh. That I knew it was over. That he wasn't going home. That sucks. That sucks. Because he was one of the good ones. I liked his character. They actually got his body back here. Which is... it's That's a, a silver lining, I guess. If there is one. Steve is back home. I like that. I like that. The craziest part is he did it to himself. He went off to war and he ended up doing it to himself. He survived the war. And ended up doing it to himself still. Damn, I'm just reading here on Google that the Vietnam War was 20 years. 20 year war. 1955 to 1975. Ridiculous. Now they're singing. They're singing a song about America. Cool, I guess. I mean, I feel like maybe they're singing it for comfort, right? But I feel like what this does is it still draws divides between you and the other person. Like, yeah, cool, America's fine. But how about global? God bless the world. How about that? How about God, God bless everyone? Is that it? It just... With a beer! <laughs> That's American. So, they're actually doing a whole characters thing at the end. So let's do this really quick before I, I guess, give my opinion of the movie. Christopher Walken's character, loved him. Charming, seemed like a great guy when he was in town. I feel really bad for what happened to him. Super bad for what happened to him, man. Uh, his mind just broke. And sadly, he took his own life in the end. Like, I I was really hoping that 
I was hoping Mike would be able to bring him back, and I was, I was thinking that he would be able to bring him back because the movie is called The Deer Hunter, and Mike was out here hunting a bunch of different things, not just deer. So, you know, he brought his friend home. He was hunting. <laughs> he was hunting Linda. He hunted Steve. Brought him back home. I thought he was gonna go be able to hunt Chris and bring not not Christopher Walken, hunt Nick and bring him back home. But unfortunately, he wasn't. But I like this guy. This guy's great. Um, a lot of his friends were just kind of generic buddies. Uh, and I feel like a lot of the shots were just to show how to establish how much of a close friend group they were and also along with the community just how strong the community was but this guy was one of the friends that I actually liked he had a great attitude he even didn't even care when dude was pointing a gun at his face he's like hey Mike settle down man he's pointing a gun at my face anyway he was cool this guy I like this guy <laughs> he was Okay, I was kind of confused as to his role. He's a friend of theirs, but he's also the owner of the bar, right? I think he owns the bar. Great dude. Loved his attitude. He obviously has some musical talents as well with the piano playing and the singing at the end. He kind of started that whole thing at the end there. Um, yeah, love this dude. This guy, obviously, don't like him. Don't like his attitude. He, I feel like because he's small, he probably got picked on a lot and I think that he has some sort of Napoleon complex where he's like because I'm so small I gotta act big and uh, you know carry this gun around and point it at my friends and stuff uh, so you know I don't really he's not really a character I uh, mesh with too well he forgets his boots all the time no knife we're going hunting man we, we what's wrong with you oh that's John Savage that's John Savage what else is John Savage in, bro? I must know. <laughs> Alright. I'm not even gonna lie. He's in nothing really else that I know of. Maybe Message in a Bottle. Something I've heard of. His character is interesting. Um, I don't know. Over drinker. He drank a lot. A lot of his personality, you just kind of see him a little wonky. I don't know if that was a character choice or if maybe there was something wrong with him that I don't understand. But even before he went through the war experience, he seemed a bit, a bit, uh slightly unstable uh his wife angela she seemed okay in the beginning you know she was happy beyond when she was looking in the mirror and she's like because oh. i i think i thought she might be pregnant she was pregnant i just remembered they had a little blonde boy at the end so she was pregnant she was nervous about the pregnancy as well with him going off to war Whoa. okay so that sucks for angela i get why she was like hyper depressed after when uh, Mike went to go visit her because that, that 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 that's rough for her I mean she didn't go through war and have to you know do play the game but still I could still and her husband lost his like ah yeah I feel bad for Angela she was I Angela was cool Linda 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 such a darling such a sweet <laughs> she's such a sweetheart I feel bad for the girl at the beginning glad that that part never really came back into play Glad that the father was out of the picture because we don't need to see her getting slapped around anymore. Uh, but just the drama, the love triangle is really confusing. You know, ever since the beginning, she was throwing Mike eyes while with Nick, which is another reason I feel bad for Nick for that as well. And I really don't know what to say, except I'm going to try not to be judgy. I cannot be judgy about after the war when they came back because, you know, Nick wasn't there. What's she supposed to do? She's a human. She wants some comfort. She was attracted to Mike. So sure, let them get together. That's fine. It's the beforehand stuff I'm a little like, ugh. Is I get the ick uh, with her for. It turns me off about her a little bit. Is that she was kind of bouncing back and forth between the two of them before the war even started. She did accept Nick's proposal. But I think that was just she was drunk and in the moment. She's like, yeah, I'll marry you. Of course I'll marry you. Um, beautiful woman. Just a little back and forth on her ethics before the war. After the war, I'm cool with her, she's she's good. And Mike, what a odd dude, completely odd. What's his deal? What's his deal? He's like one of the characters that I really didn't understand in the movie. Like at the beginning, he felt like kind of a jerk. And uh, you know, he was very stern, doesn't want to go hunting with anybody besides Nick kind of giving Nick's girlfriend the eyes and like trying to kiss her and stuff if I remember correctly dancing with her and all that stuff being really rude about his friends hunting not giving the dude his boots 
like very stern very about his responsibility and accountability and stuff like that which i guess are good character traits to have not even gonna lie and i guess in the war situation that helped him out incredibly because his mind was already fixed to i don't know what his, i don't know what his life experience was like before this movie started so i don't know where he learned all this stuff or where to have such a you know such mental fortitude no idea but he had it. It's like he was almost raised to be able to handle war situations. And he did well. And, you know, in the end, he was the hero, I guess. If you want to call him, he, he turned into a protagonist of some, some sort. I don't even know. He ended up taking Nick's girl, which is the only part I find kind of weird about it all. But he did bring Steve back to town. And he did go and try to get Nick. So, in the end, you know, he's not such a bad guy. Hey, and there's the party. There's the party. See, that's why they spent so much time on that section. Just to hammer in how close and loving everybody was. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Can we talk about the guy? What was that? The guy who punched the girl in the face? At the party? That was wild. That was insane. That was one of the craziest parts of this whole movie, actually, for me. Yeah, so at the end of these, I don't really give movies a rating. I just talk about how they made me feel. Talking about the characters really helped that because I kind of sum up what I feel about the movie through speaking about what I think about the characters. There is one more character. I'm like, what the hell happened to her? Why was she in the movie? Let's go find her. This girl. <laughs> Who is this girl? Is this, was this Mike's current girlfriend at the time? I mean, she's very beautiful too, just like Meryl Streep is. Uh, you know, blondes versus brunettes. I'm like, who is she? What, what, what happened to her? What was her deal? Why did she get... I feel like she got slighted in this movie, and I feel like she needs some sort of uh, redemption. Other than that, this movie made me feel like, um... Oh, it's not a movie I would watch just out of my... Like, I wouldn't be interested or drawn to it. I have watched my fair share of war movies, like Saving Private Ryan. I'm pretty sure I watched that. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. There's this sniper movie I really, really love. It is with that charming British dude and the beautiful woman from the Mummy movies, that franchise. Uh, I love that sniper movie. I don't remember what it's called right now. <laughs> Medal of Honor, maybe? I don't remember. But yeah, a war movie is nice every now and then, but it's not something I gravitate to, obviously, just because it's kind of darker and I like to laugh. It's kind of a, it's kind of a downer. A lot of it is a downer. So yeah, not really a, a energy I like to find myself in a lot. When it comes to the directing, just a lot of variety from the settings. I, I feel like this movie was probably extremely expensive to make because of the settings and some of the set pieces. Like there was action sequences when they were rolling down the river on the log and then they had to grab the bridge and then they were hanging from the helicopter. And then there were very like simple looking shots where they're like just at home, you know, around hanging out around the car which were still very complicated shots because of the backgrounds and the framing and everything like that. It was just super, it was almost like a simple movie hidden in an extravagant movie or vice versa. It was a little bit of everything, simple and beautiful. Yeah, my only gripe was the length of it, like three hours. Uh, it, was, it didn't feel too long. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of filler in this movie, which I'm like, why are they even showing this part? For instance, I guess, I guess they did bring it back around, but like when they left the guy, they drove, they drove away from him. That scene was so long when they were camping, but they did bring it back. When Mike got back to town, they drove away from the guy again. It's like, oh, they still do that. Anyway, I felt like there were, might have been a little too much filler, but I feel like also the director knew what he was doing and made those scenes very long for a purpose. But yeah, that is going to be The Dare Hunter, the ninth movie on my 100 movie bucket list challenge series. Yeah, it wasn't my favorite that I've seen so far, but it also wasn't my least favorite or, or yeah, it wasn't my most, uh, yeah, I liked it. Okay, is what I'm trying to say. It was all right. It was all right. I feel like I learned something from watching it, actually. And the scenes they, I'm still going off with the review. The scenes they chose to use with the war were interesting ones. Like, they didn't use much actual gunplay and like two sides coming at each other. They used that game scene and they used the entrance scene when like dude was pretending to be dead. Interesting scenes they used for the war. Anyway, the next movie is gonna be Casablanca. That's gonna be the 10th movie on this list. So that is gonna be interesting. I'm not sure if I've seen that. I feel like I have, 
when I was younger, but it could be just scenes and references that I'm putting together in my mind. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was quite the experience, I gotta say. It was, it was a circus, man. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to drop that like. Sub if you have not already, because there are more movies coming every single week. And share this with a movie buff that you know, because, uh, you know, I'm not a movie buff yet, but I think I'm getting there. Am I a movie buff? Maybe you guys be the judge. Am I a movie buff? Am I there? I might be there. I might just be downplaying me, downplaying my buffness. <laughs> but yeah, until next time, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. GG's.